banana laser Lasers unite What's up Laser Nation and welcome to Banana Bites for September 13th 2016 It's Tuesday Get happy Banana Bites it's our in between episode where uh, we talk about the previous commentary, we tease the future commentary, I play your voicemails, read your emails, we play laser games. Right off the top of the bat, I want to say thank you to Gavin Taylor for making the new intro music and some other music that's played throughout these episodes. He's uh, a wizard. You know, a wizard can call a wizard a wizard, I believe. But yeah, he's awesome. He makes the music. But that begs the question... I read someone posted online on our Facebook group, I believe, hey, what about the old Byte song, which Gavin also produced? So I'm putting it out there to you guys, the Laser Nation. Should we be playing the old Byte song, or should we move forward with new music? I figured since it was kind of a new revamped version that we should go with something new. But hey, you know, whatever satisfies. I want to hear from you guys. So send us a voicemail at 314-720-8842. Send us an email at bananalazergmail.com. Tweet at us at Bananalazer Show. Let us know what song should we be using. The old Bites song, the new Bites music. Either way, let's do it. I want to make this the funnest laser experience as possible. So thank you, Gavin Taylor, to all that. Also, another shout out to Jordy Austere. Jordy Austere. I don't know. He's not American. Jordy, thank you for making that banner to our first commentary last week, the Sleepaway Camp commentary. He made an awesome banner. He's very talented uh, and crazy. Uh, he got Banana Laser. He got a Banana Laser and a Skeleton Crew tattoo. That's dedication. So <laughs> thank you, sir, for everything you do. You're awesome. And yeah, we premiered our first commentary last week. And thank you to all the listeners out there. It was an overwhelming response. You guys were ecstatic to have us come back. And I feel uh, it was very positive. So thank you. But I want to take this time to, if you guys have thoughts or questions or stuff we should have talked about in the commentary i wanted to plug it in here into these banana bites episodes like say hey you didn't talk about you know how big angela's penis was at the end you know it we should really discuss that let us know and um we'll play it on this episode and i'll get into it you know send us a voicemail i just said the phone number Send us an email, but anyways, we're going to come. We'll read it, blah, 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 blah. I want to get you guys' feedback week to week on the commentaries. And so that way we know exactly where we stand, if we're doing a good job, if we're fucking up nonstop, if we're just a trio of drunks. I don't know. I want to know. So, speaking of feedback, I got a voicemail here. From the master himself, let's roll it. Hey, yo, it's Mahoney, and I just wanted to welcome you guys back to the podcast world, and Banana Laser. What is a Banana Laser? I'll tell you what Banana Laser is. Banana Laser wins every time. Ow. Father Mahoney, thank you, sir, for leaving that voicemail. You're right. Banana Laser does win every time. But what is a banana laser? I don't know. I think we explained that on the banana anniversary. I think it was pretty clear. If you don't know, go back and listen to that episode at horrorphilly.com. But anyways, if you guys want to leave us voicemails, please do. 314-720-8842. Now, let's get into some of what has been going on with me. I watched Insidious Chapter 3 finally last week and I'd have to say I enjoyed it pretty well I, I, my expectations were very low but I thought it was very well done a um, couple problems with it the main protagonist is now a teenage girl don't really care for that you know I can't really get you know get in the mindset of a teenage girl but all the scare scenes the villain is all very well in the vein of the first two Insidious movies plus 
something this movie has going for it. It's a prequel, so it focuses a lot on the uh, paranormal investigators and how they became a team, and all that stuff is a lot of fun. So I recommend it. Also, since it is a prequel, uh, I feel like Dave Z would actually enjoy it because there's no retconning of shit that he hated in part two that he felt retconned everything from part one so there's none of that so you know it's a it's a pretty pretty good sequel it's it's worth watching i say peel insidious chapter three back booyah also coming up this weekend in theaters is the new blair witch film i'm fucking excited as all get out for this i hope i'm not too excited i'm a I'm a pretty big fan of the original Blair Witch. Kind of mild on the sequel. I enjoy it, but it just was a totally different thing, and that's fine. But it feels like this is going to be more of a true sequel, and essentially, I would guess, like an updated version. And it still looks found footage, so I'm very excited for it. If they can recreate that uh, classic Blair Witch experience, but update it, then sweet, you know, and maybe, I don't know, show us something, you know, not that the first one wasn't creepy and and everything, but showed you almost literally nothing, so maybe we'll actually get to see something this time, it is called Blair Witch, Jesus Christ, uh, another thing I learned this week from my brother Dave, is about the new Friday the 13th game that they're developing, you know, we love Friday the 13th, we're constantly talking about this game coming out. The new Kill Reel was just released that showed multiple Jasons uh, from various films just killing people. It looks incredible. The The graphics look amazing. Uh, Jason looks awesome. Every single character. The, the Part 2 Jason, Part 3 Jason, Part 7 Jason. I mean, they're all there. They look great. And I was talking to my co-host about it, and Dave mentioned that this game is not going to be a single-player game. It's an online experience only, which pisses me off because I don't play games online with people because there's always someone better. There's never not going to be someone better who's going to kick your ass. So... I don't know. And maybe that could change, but I feel he says it's been that way since day one. So I don't know. I've already pre-ordered the game. I'm going to get it and play it. If it's only that way and I hate it, I'll probably just end up selling it. But uh, I feel like that's a real missed opportunity because I don't feel like any game is that way. I don't know. I never play games online, so I just don't know. But speaking of games... Let's get to your guys' favorite segment, and that is the Laser Games, where you guys come on with me for the chance to win a Banana Laser prize bag, and we got a very special guest this time. Let's not waste any time like I'm wasting right now. Stop talking. We'll play the clip, Matt. All right, guys, we're back with another Laser Games. Uproarious crowd cheering. Awesome. This is where we ask you, the listener, to come on the show and to play a few rounds of games with me, Wazelle, for your chance to win beautiful prizes handpicked by Banana Laser ourselves. And we got another doozy of a guest today. He's a great friend of the show. You guys probably know him. He's been here and there and everywhere in the podcast community. He's done all kinds of stuff. Ladies and lasers, please welcome Cody Robinson. Yay! 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 Hey, you guys! Oh my god. Wait, who is this? Not my girl, man. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect, because that's perfectly in line with the show, Banana Laser, and what we do here. So, great. You're off to a fucking perfect start. <laughs> hey, but uh, thanks for coming on, man. You've been a fucking friend of the show since day one. And really appreciate you taking the time to come on and do this with me. Thank you. Oh, it, it's entirely my pleasure. Sweet. Um, just, I know where you uh, are coming from, 
but why? Because you live so close to me, I could practically touch you outside the front door, it, which I might later. Um, but will you? That tell wasn't the, you. <laughs> tell Hold the on, I need to make a phone call. <laughs> Why don't you tell the listeners uh, where exactly you reside on this green earth of ours? I am uh, right on the corner of uh, Bumfuck, and you got a pretty mouth. <laughs> yeah, I've been there a few times. I used to live, I think, maybe like two miles from there. <laughs> and That's you're awesome. not that far away now. No, <laughs> yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. There's just some taller buildings where I'm at, but it's still, it's still fuck all. <laughs> What you're saying is now you can you can still stand on top of the house and in and, and the distance faintly hear the banjos. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, well, they're definitely out here. Uh, except sometimes they're remixed with a hip-hop beat, but they're still here. Um, all right. <laughs> well, um, you know, Banana Laser is first and foremost a horror podcast. I know it's hard to believe. But so what was the last horror film that you witnessed uh new or old softcore hardcore <laughs> whatever well uh the last one i watched uh my daughter loves uh the final girls and uh oh, yeah. she wants we have to watch that at least once a week She's really yeah yeah she loves it they've been she, airing she, it on on cable and i just caught it the other day too she she's five and i know she She's a bit was a bit young for it, but uh, I was watching it one day and uh, just had it on in the background. And uh, she was in a room. She come out and sit down. She she usually won't, you know, five year old won't uh, won't stay tuned in anything more than like right. five minutes. And and she sit through the whole thing. The the next night, whenever uh, we got home, uh, she asked to watch it again. She said sit through it again. <laughs> and it's it's become almost a weekly ritual. Yeah. Holy smokes! That's awesome. And surprisingly enough, I mean, she's not scared by it either. I, that that was my biggest thing. I didn't want her to have nightmares, you know. Yeah, the villain is kind of scary, I would think, for a five-year-old. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, you know, the movie's still kind of soft core, but, I mean, for a five-year-old, that's some mm-hmm. pretty heavy shit. <laughs> Dude, this is some heavy shit, man. Yeah, that, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, next up, she's going to go to Cannibal Holocaust, probably. See how that goes. Well, you know, I thought I'd uh, break her in easy. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, Serbian film, you know. That'd be a good <laughs> gateway movie. Actually, you know, Final Girls is a perfect gateway for Friday the 13th. And oh, Sleepaway yeah. Camp. Yeah, Sleepaway Camp might be too vulgar. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> it's funny you mention that, because uh, I don't let her watch the Friday the 13th, of course, but... Uh, I'll play the trailer, one of the trailers on YouTube or something every now and then for her. And uh, she, she, she said a couple times, like, that's almost like Final Girls. <laughs> almost, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I wonder where they got their idea for that. Yeah, awesome. yeah. Cool, man, starting her off right. That's great. Yeah, she could watch Halloween, I think. Yeah, that'd probably be okay for me. I, I, I don't know. She's, she's kind of freaked out. I, I have a... I have like uh, one of those uh, 24-inch plush Michael Myers dolls that plays the <laughs> Halloween theme, and she's still kind of freaked out out by it. She wants me to she wants me to play uh, push it push its belly so it'll play the uh, music a couple times, but then she gets she gets freaked out. And yeah. Turn it off. Yeah, I'm sure she hears that when she's trying to go to sleep at night. <clears throat> All right, so let's get to the meat of this. This is the Laser Games. Uh, All right. What we're gonna do is we're going to play three separate games. And if you get, uh, if you win two out of three of these games, let's say I'll have some sick-ass, probably not that sick, okay prizes in the mail for you, sir. Uh, <laughs> so are you ready to get into this? I'll, I'll quit asking if you're ready. Of course you're ready. I'm All right, so. ready. Yeah, see, that's what I like to hear. First up, we're going to play Horror Movie Mad Libs. Oh, yeah. Those guys are excited, I think. <laughs> so, Horror Movie Mad Libs. This is where we... Everybody remembers Mad Libs. Okay? I mean, probably some of our listeners are doing them right now. I don't know. But um, we're going to take a film synopsis, and I'm going to have you Mad Lib it up, and I'm going to read it back with all your inserted words, 
And we're gonna ha- see if you can guess the title of the film. Okay. Okay. So, first up, let's run run it down and get some get some words here. Why don't you give me a number, any number at all, one through 69. infinity? Oh, yeah, <laughs> sixty nine, dudes. Okay, now give me a noun. Oh, you didn't tell me this was going to be hard questions. <laughs> <laughs> a noun is a person, place, or thing, Cody. I don't know any of those. <laughs> Cocaine. Okay, perfect. No take backs. Okay, I need one more noun. Well, I need a lot, actually. <laughs> okay, more cocaine. <laughs> Wait, that's... <laughs> cocaine again, okay. No problem. One adjective. Flying. Flying, okay. That's good. Okay, another noun. Artichoke. <laughs> uh, artichoke. Uh, another noun. Lots of nouns. Flea bag. <laughs> Don't even know what that is, but it definitely qualifies as a noun. Okay, one more number. <laughs> Six. Six. Okay. I got two left. I need a as noun. As in Friday the Thirteenth, Part Six. You no, know, we don't. We don't talk about that. Uh, two left. I need one <laughs> now. We've made our piece on that. Okay. Go to horrorphilia.com and check out Banana Lasers video commentary of Friday 13th Part 6, Jason Lives. Or eat an orange. Orange? Orange. Okay, that is definitely a noun. And finally, a verb. Damn it, orange isn't a verb. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I mean, could you orange the shit out of something? I mean, I guess if you're, like, painting a car orange. Yeah. I guess so. Okay. Uh, orange it is. Okay. <laughs> uh, that's going to make it real interesting. Okay, so I'm going to give you one clue to start with, um, and that is the film is from 1990. Okay, 1990. So keep that in your mind. Uh, Here we go. In 1960, 69 outcast cocaines, known as the Cocaine Club, fight an evil artichoke who poses as a child-killing flea bag. Six years later, they and I'm orange. Nope. Nope. No? God damn it. Six years later, they orange to stop the artichoke once and for all. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's I don't even. Oh think. my. Okay, here let's go over this again. You, you don't even know what movie it is now, do you? I, no, I'm totally lost. Those oranges <laughs> threw me off the flea bag. <laughs> oh my god. You gotta make this game easier. Uh, in, <laughs> in 1960, 69 outcast cocaines, known as the Cocaine Club, <laughs> fought an evil artichoke who poses as a child killing flea bag. Uh, six years later, they reunite to stop the artichoke once and for all. It? It is correct. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry, the cocaine and the oranges threw me off. Boom. That's <laughs> I know. That was perfect. Uh, <laughs> the cocaine club. <laughs> <laughs> the cocaine club. Yeah, it's actually in 1960, seven outcast kids known as the Loser Club fight an evil demon who poses as a child-killing clown. 30 years later, they reunite to stop the demon once and for all. So that's awesome. That's one point to you, sir. Beautiful. You're on your way. One more point and you win some shit. Okay, here we go. The second game, which I don't have a name for, 
if if anybody or even you, Cody, has a good name for this game, then then shoot it over at bananalaser at gmail dot com because we need a good name for this. Basically, I'm gonna play you an audio clip of a trailer, not the full thing, because it might give it away too much. Audio clip of a trailer, and I need you to guess what film it is. Okay. Okay. And I guess I guess I'll give you a clue again. Um, let's go with. Um, Hmm. Let's go with 1972. Okay, so it's a little bit of an older one. 1972. Okay, here we go. Listen up. It rests on 13 acres of earth over the very center of hell. is the first motion picture to offer to the daring a look into the final maddening space between life and death. To avoid fainting, keep repeating. It's only a movie. Only a movie. Only a movie. Only a movie. Take as only much as you can. Only a movie. Okay. Any guesses, sir? Oh God! I, I should know this one. Is it Rawhead Rex? <laughs> nope. <laughs> I've never seen that. Shit. I don't know. It's what only year a movie. Jesus in. Christ! I I should know that. Um, uh, there are actually lots of films that have aped that um, selling strategy in their um, uh, ad campaign, but I believe that this is the premier film to do so. I could be wrong, but uh, it's the first one I heard of that did that. 1972. 19. 19- 72. A famous director's first film. How about that? Uh, it's not Last House on the Left, is it? It is Last House on the Left. Woo! <laughs> Get <ball! laughs> Boom! That's two points. You win right there. Boom. You you see how easy it is, Lazy? Right. Why don't you want to come on here and do this? This is so... I'm making this shit too easy. I'm going to be out of so much money. I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm digging shit out of the trash for you guys. Um, all right. So even though you've won, technically, I say we go ahead and play this final game just for shits and gigs. What do you say? Sounds good to me. Sounds good to Cody. This last game is called Laser Tag laser tag and that is where I give you a tagline from a horror film and have you guess what film it is easy par cheesy Um, I will also give you the year for this because that will help you out a little bit it's from 2009 2009 so keep that in your mind tagline here we go prepare for the day everyone fears the purge the Purge. No. no, I'm sorry. That is incorrect. And... Incorrect, sir. Um, well, you, I mean, you still won. You got any second guesses? 2009? 2009. It's a day. <laughs> Prepare for the day everyone fears. Uh, I'm at a loss. I, I hope it's not that uh, shitty Day of the Dead remake. <laughs> Oh, God, no. Thank goodness. I believe that came out earlier in the 2000s. But, no, I'm talking about the Friday 13th, 2009 version. The oh, my remake, God. If you will. How did I not get that? Oh, it, it's so funny how when I'm picking this stuff, it's like, I don't know if this is going to be easy or not. It, it's it's almost too hard to tell. It, so, it should have been. <laughs> yeah. But, hey, you still won. You got two out of three of the games, and so, boom, you're a winner. If any of you listeners out there... Want to come on here with me? Do what Cody did. Have a lot of fun. Um, you know, for a chance to win, yeah, all kinds of stuff. Cody, I believe you've already gotten stuff from us in the past: stickers, you know, DVDs, Blu-rays, all kinds of stuff. Who knows what you're going to get? Yeah. Hey, and I just like to say thanks for that banana thong. I'm I'm wearing it right now. <laughs> the banana hammock. Yeah, you're welcome. I have so many. <laughs> Got to do something with them. Oh, yeah, a, a one banana hammock for every winner, okay? So if you guys want to come on and do this, just email me at bananalaser at gmail.com, and I'll hit you back up, and we'll figure it all out, okay? So, Cody, thank you once again for coming on here. It's been a blast. Uh, one last thing. 
before I let you go, I have to ask you, Mary fuck kill. Alex, Dave Z, Wazell. Oh man, that's a tough one. I know. There's a trio of hot sons of bitches right there. <laughs> Mary fuck kill. Uh oh uh have to marry Dave Z, sorry, Dave. <laughs> Everybody loves Dave. Who doesn't? And he's been dying to be in a relationship with a guy for a long time. And uh and you know, uh Alex, everybody wants to fuck Alex. Yeah, so he's def- I, easily the hottest one. So, <laughs> so, so, so sorry, Matt. You know, I appreciate you having me on and everything, but I, I guess we got to kill you. Gonna have to kill me. Hey, it's all right. Everybody's got to <laughs> go right, sometime, bad. man. <laughs> if if I'm gonna get murdered, I'd rather be by the, your kind, gentle hands than anyone else's. So, thank you. <laughs> all right, man. Thank you again, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you soon. Banana laser wins every time. (laughs) That's like the William Shatner version. Awesome. Thank you, man. Talk to you soon. All right. Laser Games, congratulations, Cody. Cool shit is off in the mail to you. Appreciate you coming on. I'll I'll reiterate it again. You guys want to come on and play? It's so simple. Send us an email, bananalaser@gmail.com. A lot of people have already signed up. Thank you. But we still want more. We want you guys on this show. If I haven't made it clear, that's what this show is all about. It's about you guys. So we want you on. All right, next week, September 20th, Tuesday, a fresh Banana Laser commentary is coming out. Let's hear a clip. I would pay money to see you in that bra. <laughs> that would be the most funny thing to me. Yeah, then where would all my credibility be? <laughs> Can't lose that. You can just come over and model it for me personally. Just you and me. What are you, Ron Milky? <laughs> right, right. <Yeah. laughs> all right, take off your shirt. What? Okay. All right, kid. Take your shirt off. Your pants. <laughs> <laughs> my pants? <laughs> this holster will keep those new pants up. Yeah. And Alex didn't even flinch. She's like, okay. Hey, you're famous. <laughs> <laughs> you did what now? What movie? Okay. She's crazier than hell. She's crazier than hell. That was a great line. I'm a good actor. She's crazier than hell. She's real upset. I was hoping we could help her. You guys, did you hear I delivered that one? <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Did you guys see me in that sex scene earlier? <laughs> I know how to have sex. I've done it before, totally. Nailed it! Put a shirt on. This guy on. has more hair in his chest than I do, and I'm 36. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. How about that? Sounds freaking hilarious, because we're awesome. Not to jerk my own dick too much, but man, we're awesome. So look out for that. What movie is it? I don't know. Maybe you can tell. Maybe you can't. I'm just teasing it. Anyways, it's going to be a full video commentary. You can just stream the video along with the audio. No fuss, no muss. Unless you're listening to this on YouTube, which we only put up the audio version. So, I don't know. Maybe head over to Horophilia.com where you can see it with the video attached. Or maybe you only listen to the audio. I don't know how you ingest this, people. I just don't know. Okay, so that's going to wrap up this week of Banana Bites. Like I said, tune in next week. And leave us feedback on the commentary, guys. We want to know exactly what you're missing, what we can do to get you to peel it back, baby. So we'll see you guys next week, September 20th, fresh commentary. Look out. Banana later. Thank you for listening to the Banana Laser Podcast. Please be sure to check out Horophilia.com for a full archive of all of our previous episodes, as well as other great podcasts like The Skeleton Crew, My Bloody Podcast, and many more. Please be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter at Banana Laser Show. Also, join our Facebook group page at facebook.com slash groups slash Banana Laser. That's where the real lasers come out. 
Be sure to subscribe to us on YouTube, where we post trailers, movies, and more. Interact with us. Please send us a voicemail at 314-720-8842. Or send us an email at bananalaser at gmail.com. You can also find us on iTunes and Stitcher. Again, thanks for listening, and keep on banana ing Something like that. Banana laser wins every time.